good. I don't think I've ever traced anything for you. So I thought I'd show you that. This is something we did at Maker Faire, mm -hmm. where we actually had kids go do drawings and then immediately went and printed them. So to do this, I am going to draw upon my completely non-existent artistic skills. So I went and looked at all the boing boing, cool stuff, logos and everything, and I decided to go for the low-hanging fruit, which was, I found this, which is the letter B twice, which is just barely inside of my, my artistic abilities. All right, so just like before, I'm going to put it in there. Unlike last time, I'm not going to load up any design from Illustrator or use any digital files. I'm actually going to use that drawing. So we'll go back and I'll show you the software to make this happen. We're going to click the trace button here, and it's actually going to pull an image from the bed. And you'll see it's, it looks just like it did when I set it over there, because it's a live picture from the camera that comes down. And this software actually lets me select the area I'm interested in, like this and then say, I want to cut this out, and I want to cut that out, and I want to cut that out, and print. And now, it's actually done a digital version of that, which you can see superimposed. If I wanted to, I could make this bigger, I could make it smaller, I can save it, copy it for later, make edits to it, but I'm just going to print it. And so, sending it up to the cloud, down to the Glowforge, and I'm going to kick off this print. So, what's kind of neat is you can see it's engraving right over the top of the ink. And I should point out here that, as you know, friend of Boing Boing, friend of mine, Dean Putney, uh, is not only the one who wrote this code, he's also the one holding the camera. <laughs> Hi, Dean! Hi! Hey, Dean! <laughs> uh, now, if we want to come over here, I'm going to show you some of the things that we've got uh, on, uh, on the table that you can make with, uh, that you can make if you have a Glowforge. So, we've got this lovely uh, mouse set. You may have noticed, by the way, we've got a whole set with, like, pencil holder and a monitor stand that the monitor was sitting on that we were looking at earlier. This is actually stacked slices of acrylic and plywood, which then have this beautiful leather over the top. Now, you may recognize these because we made one of these together. These are uh, pieces out of Paduk, which is an African hardwood and acrylic. And it's really cool. You can actually make uh, make a piece out of multiple materials at once. Uh, you remember when we, we did yeah, that before. Really um, nice. We've got an engraved uh, phone back here. Um, we've got some engravings in glass. These are a one and a half inches tall, which is the tallest that you can put into Glowforge. You remove the, the tray, and then you can get in things this height. And you can see that engraving in the glass. It's really beautiful. We've got some jewelry. This is leather and acrylic that a designer created for us. This one, I really love this because it's some really cool material uh, experimentation we did. That's a walnut coaster, and what's inlaid there is the actual uh, shell of, uh, I think it's called, um, um, I can't remember now. It's, it's mother of pearl, but it's the shell of some sort of animal that comes in a flat sheet, and then the laser can cut it because uh, basically any, engravable, uh, any organic material uh, works well in the laser. So we worked that one out. You can also see it's got a cork backing. So there's three materials that are just laminated together. What we did to make this work was we engraved a place to hold the shell and then glued it in place. So you can see it's perfectly flush. You can't feel any, any ridges with it because we engraved just down to the depth. We also did a pair of custom shoes. These are actually taken from the foot <laughs> of Bailey, uh, who runs community for us, from a photograph of her foot and, uh, and you can see they're made of Vibram soles, leather toppers. She swears they're very comfortable. They don't fit me. But these are a perfect fit for her and nobody else in the entire world. But this is a piece of tile. So it actually comes from Tiles for Less. They cut it in half for us. Uh, because you can't cut stone, but you can engrave it. And you get this beautiful engraving on, uh, on the stone. You know, it's really fun and easy to do personalized stuff. You can draw just like we did, if you have more talent than we did, and just engrave. Uh, this is a luggage tag, you can see. Uh, and uh, a wallet that you may have seen on our video. This is, I took a, an old map from the Library of Congress of Seattle and just dragged it over the top. This one's been through, been through quite a bit. You can see it's a little beat up. It's holding up great. Um, and it takes about 10 minutes to cut the wallet. It takes about 45 minutes to engrave the map over the top. But the results are just really stunning and, and totally unique. 
uh, to to the owner. Um, we've got some paper, like this is uh, wedding invitations that were done on paper that's glued together. And then one of my favorites are Settlers of Catan board. We actually worked with Mayfair Games on this. This one was originally hand drawn and then cut and engraved to create this. So I don't know if we can get a little close up. But uh, this is all natural wood in its natural colors, except for the blue, which is stain. But this is just walnut and yellow heart and maple and mahogany and even purple heart for the tokens in the middle. Uh, because Glowforge can use these beautiful materials, you don't have to go through this whole staining process. It just comes out looking amazing. So you can see this right here is actually a map that we did out of bathymetric data from NOAA. And the, the bridges are even actually dimensional there. They're floating up in the air. Um, I got to show you the MacBook. This is one of our first tests. So we used an old one in case we, we messed it up. But you can see it's got this design on it. And then my favorite part is the surprise inside, which is the keycaps. Cool. And we have some overflow, some other stuff. We've got the monitor stand here, the, 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 um, the phone stand. You can see similar design, but just a different choice of materials. Uh, we've got this paper cut party hat. This is kind of a fun one in our forums, which are community.glowforge.com. It's only owners can post, but anybody can look. Somebody posted a really cool procedural gear generator. So we just took the output of that and threw it on the laser and and did that That's as a quick, a quick thing. Um, something I, I hate doing is buying picture frames. And so I thought it was kind of cool. You can print a picture frame that is actually designed for the picture that's inside of it. Going on to some of my favorites, the, the rubber band Gatling gun drone, which we made with, with parts from 3D Robotics, uh, scavenge for the purpose. Uh, but you can see it's actually dual counter-rotating rubber band Gatling guns that launch 80 rubber bands a second. Totally ridiculous. Whoa. You can see it firing in our video, but, uh, but it's pretty amazing. Um, and then I'm going to show you two of my absolute favorites here. We'll, we'll go over position. You can see this is actually made out of recycled cardboard. Um, this is our Amazon shipping for about a month. <laughs> and, uh, and it's actually a 3D model of the Earth with this stacked cardboard. And then last but not least the one that I have to hide from my children because otherwise they will make me bring it home and never let it come back to the office is this dollhouse. Wow. So what's really cool is even though the basic model only has a 12 by 20 inch bed, you can build up really spectacular things with that. So if you, oh, come on in, get, get all the beautiful details up close. So this is actually tabs and slots that fit together. Now, one really cool thing about Glowforge is that it can measure the thickness of the material so that your tabs and slots fit. You can identify what a slot is so that it'll resize itself to accommodate your material, which means all this stuff just fits together and, it's, and you can put it together like a puzzle. So I made a smaller design like this, which was a castle with the kids, and it was really fun because it took me an hour and a half to print, and then we got to spend about an hour and a half putting it together Lego style. And they play with it all the time. This is even more spectacular. This is a day-long project. So let's go back over and we'll pull out the, the little drawing we did and see how it came out. Okay. All right, so let's see how it came out. Now you'll notice all the ink that I drew is gone because it's been engraved away. And then I cut the outside of that, just like I said. Let's take a look. And here, limited only by my ability to draw and my shaky hands, we have the Boing Boing logo right there, just awesome. like I drew it before. Now, of course, you know, as we looked at yesterday, you can design an illustrator. And as we saw today, you can create all sorts of crazy stuff with CAD and Inkscape and all sorts of other software. But it is really simple enough that a kid can make something really cool with it. Yeah, if you can believe it, we've raised over $20 million 
Um, I, if you told me that there were $20 million worth of, of Glowforges that people wanted to buy a month ago, I would have been very, very surprised. But it turns out that this has been popular beyond any expectation we've had. So the campaign ends tomorrow. It's already the biggest 30-day crowdfunding campaign for anything ever. Uh, and then after tomorrow, prices are going to go up and, uh, and we'll be working full-time on getting things ready to ship. So if folks are interested, they can go to glowforge.com slash boing boing and pick one up. This starts at just uh, 2000 and you actually get to take another $100 off with that referral code, glowforge.com slash boing boing. So you can get in on it before it all ends at 6 p.m. Pacific tomorrow.